Hey everybody, welcome back to Why Not RV. On this week's episode, I'm gonna answer the question, does my trailer pin connector charge my batteries? If you wanna learn more and make less mistakes while RVing, be sure to hit that subscribe button and click the notification bell for any future videos. Check us out online at whynotrvusa.com or come join us on our Facebook group, Why Not RV, right under Facebook group. So let me start just by talking about that seven pin connector. The short answer is, does or the, the, the real question is, does that seven pin connector charge my batteries in the RV? Kind of, it's a real hard question to answer. Um, it might give you a very, very light trickle charge, but it is not anything that's gonna significantly charge your batteries, okay? So the answer is both yes and no. I mean, yes, it does technically charge them, but it would take days if your battery was actually dead. I'm talking days to recharge your battery, okay? So let me actually show you why that happens. Right here, you can see where the trailer seven pin connector comes in and then goes into the RV. You can see the size of these wires, okay? With, you know, this might be the thickest gauge wire. Now these wires are too thin to actually carry any kind of real charge. Now, yes, they can carry some bit of a charge, but look at my DC to DC cabling. Um, it might be kind of hard to tell, but this is about three to four times the size of those wires. And that's why the seven pin connector doesn't really charge your batteries. It, it might push, you know, one to four amps through there, but if you're talking about having to recharge, you know, 50 amps at one to four amps, you know, per hour, even you got five amps, that's 10 hours that that would have to run in order to get amperage through there. And even then your alternator is just pushing out whatever standard, you know, voltage is versus a DC to DC charger is actually gonna give you voltage that you set for your batteries. So let's talk about that. So that fun little device right there is called a DC to DC charger. I'm gonna go ahead and put a link up here on the corner for when I installed that. Uh, and also the old one that I installed, they're both you know, they're both great products, but that DC to DC charger puts out 30 amps. You can see 12 volt in, 12 volt out, 30 amps of charge. So I can get 30 amps of DC charging through that DC to DC charger versus, you know, like I said, one to four, maybe five amps through your regular uh, seven pin connector. So a DC to DC charger is your best way to recharge your batteries while you're driving down the road. And again, that's DC to DC, meaning you're taking your vehicle your tow vehicle trucks dc power system which puts out through the alternator its own voltage that dc to dc charger takes the dc voltage from the truck and keeps it as dc but then it puts out a proper voltage for your battery system and how you program it so i have mine set to my lithium you can have them set to your agm or lead acid or whatever the manufacturer's specifications are you program that those voltages in there so that you are safely charging your batteries versus if you just have that seven pin connector hooked up uh, and it's charging and your batteries are topped off, you can overcharge your batteries and then you're just gonna be off gassing if you have lead acid, be causing major damage to lithium ion, uh, lithium batteries. Um, so, you know, a DC to DC charger is the only real way to get yourself charging while going down the road. They're very simple to install, um, pretty, pretty cheap um, for, for what it does in my opinion. Um, I'm gonna put a link in the uh, description below to the one that I use. I also will put a link in the one that I initially used, which was also great. It was an amazing product. It was actually 40 amps instead of the current one, which is 30 amps. Uh, the only difference was I just switched everything to Victron. Um, that was just a personal preference. When I changed over pretty much everything electronic to Victron, I did that one as well to Victron. Um, the next RV is actually not even gonna have DC to DC charger just because we're gonna have so much solar on it. I'm not gonna need one. However, I do recommend them. They are amazing. Um, they're very easy to install. Again, I'll put a link somewhere up here to my install videos. And if you have any questions, feel free to reach out to me. Let me know what you got. We'll get you answered. Drop a comment below. Reach out to me on whatever you whatever you prefer. And uh, thanks for watching Why Not RV. We'll see you next time. Bye.